is the application for visa on arrival so as clearly mentioned in this application form uh, these details are very very self explanatory and i'll inform you one by one so a photograph of hey guys welcome back to another new video so as you have seen in my thumbnail uh, there is a there is some good news uh, for the people who are traveling to thailand from uh, 30th of september that is effectively from 1st of october so there was a meeting uh, in um, there is a ccac meeting in thailand where th they have given some major updates so these are very very good updates so before i begin my video if you have not seen my thailand uh, vlogs please do check it out i'll link it in the description below i have pretty much covered everywhere in pattaya and in bangkok and i've made vlog uh, uh, regarding all my places and also <clears throat> I have provided some hacks like which is the best uh, transport app in Thailand and where how do you commute locally uh, in Pattaya which is the best massage parlor in Pattaya so I have uh, made many videos about Thailand so please do check them out in the description below so let's dive in straight to the video so there was a, as like I was mentioning there was a CCSA meeting on September 23rd in Thailand where they gave some major updates so update number one uh, before when we used to go till now when if you go to thailand we used to get a visa on arrival for 14 days that uh, that's right so for 14 days so but from now from 30th of september if you visit thailand you get a visa on arrival for 30 days at no extra cost the same cost which you which you are paying to get the visa on arrival that is 2000 baht so if you want a fast track visa that is 2200 baht regarding my visa on arrival process inside thailand airport i've made a dedicated video so please do check them out uh, so when you when you enter thailand you used to get only 14 day uh, visa on arrival now it is 30 days at no extra cost so this is one major update and the second major update is uh you do not need even a vaccination to enter Thailand. So if you are not fully vaccinated or if you are not single, if you don't do not have even a single dose of vaccination, you can still enter Thailand without any RT-PCR test. So till now the rules was you have to show a double vaccination certificate to clear the immigration and then um, they would validate your uh, uh, vaccination status here in your country, departure country and in the destination country. But now even that has been scrapped off. There is no need to show even a vaccination certificate certificate no need to take rt-pcr test so the rules have become very very easy for us to travel so this is this is two big, big very very big news i would say and another hack that i want to show in this video is uh, uh, um, uh, if you go to thailand airport you'll have to fill that visa on arrival form so visa on arrival form need not be taken and filled in thailand airport you can also download it here at your home fill it and then take it to thailand so you just have to take a printout fill it and carry and directly start stand in the line instead of waiting for the big queues to fill the form stick your photograph and uh, present it to the uh, visa on arrival counter so i i'll in a moment i'll just share my screen and i'll show you guys how how to actually uh, fill this visa on arrival form take a printout and then go to the airport so before that please do remember uh, you do not need a vaccination certificate to enter thailand nor uh, you need uh, 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 you need a rt-pcr test to travel thailand for now from october 1st that is the that is the effective date and uh, the visa on arrival is not for 14 days it is for 30 days so that is a very very big news i would say for the people who are traveling to thailand from 1st october onwards uh, now, uh, a lot of people had asked me, looking at my Thailand series, a uh, few questions like how much you have to carry and all those things. So I'll just try to share it on my screen so you can clearly have a look. This is the exact specifications that you need about how much you have to carry to Thailand or how much, uh, uh, how many baht you have to carry to Thailand. Would the Forex cards work? Or forex cards would not work. So this is all you need. As you can see in my screen, this is all you need uh, for you to uh, for you to travel to Thailand and you do not need anything apart from this. So I, now I I'll be sharing my screen and showing you how to fill the visa on arrival form. I hope this video will, will be really, really helpful for you guys because you don't have to spend time um, uh, filling the visa on arrival form in the counter and then submitting it. You can download it here uh, at your home, uh, take a printout, fill it and directly take it to the Thailand airport. So I hope this information was uh, really, really helpful. Uh, please do watch this video till the end uh, to know full information. Do not skip this video guys. You might miss some information. So. Um, uh, uh, what's the what's the what's the visa visa filling application form uh, i hope this information would be really helpful for you guys hey guys uh, so as you can see my screen uh, this is the visa application form that you, you have to fill uh, once you go into the 
uh, once you go into the visa on arrival counter in Thailand airport, uh, whether it may be Don Mang or Suvarnabhumi airport or any other airport in Thailand, this is the application for visa on arrival. So as clearly mentioned in this application form, uh, these details are very, very self-explanatory and I'll inform you one by one. So a photograph of four into six centimeters is required major majority of the time of me visiting thailand the last seven times uh, nobody has really asked me the specification as it should be four into six but it's better to carry a photograph uh, your passport says photograph which is four into six centimeters with a white background is preferred and as you can see you can just write your uh, family name first name middle name as it appears in the passport so uh, first name is like your given name in your passport and if you have a middle name and surname you can just fill it accordingly and nationality for us would be indian and passport for traveling document number is nothing but passport number and date and place of issue all these details you can uh, find it in the passport itself uh, flight number would be on your ticket or uh, whatever ticket you're carrying with you uh, for example you have uh, land you have gone from Bangalore to Bangkok and uh, you want the flight number if you just open the ticket your flight number would be there and occupation I am a software engineer so you can fill your occupation accordingly whether you're a student doctor scientist or whatever uh, permanent address would be your permanent address in your country that is if you're staying in Bangalore uh, your permanent address can be the place you stay in Bangalore for example Jainagar Bangalore and address in Thailand would be the hotel which you have booked so this is a little bit tricky one so let's say you are visiting uh, Bangkok, Phuket and Pattaya so you can give uh, the first place whichever you visit once you enter Thailand let's say first place uh, which you are going to visit is uh, Phuket so you can give Phuket hotel address here and you can mention only Phuket's address and name of address of reference in Thailand if you have a reference or if your friend is working you can write otherwise you can just leave it blank it's really not mandatory to fill uh, name and uh, address of a reference in Thailand and if you are a need by minor children traveling on the same passport please give us the names of birth so this is also very very self-explanatory and you can give it uh, uh, give it accordingly and you just have to sign and uh, mention the date and this is completely for official use only you don't have to fill or do anything here and this is the notice visa fee is 2000 baht per person but if you want a fast track visa like I've mentioned in my um, first video uh, that is 2200 baht per person so the 200 baht whichever you pay is uh, an exemption of uh, line whatever you have to wait it is totally exempted and you can directly go into the counter give your to give the 2000 give your passport and 2200 baht and get your uh, get your visa on a fast track basis let's say you have to wait around 10 to 15 minutes for the entire process so i hope this uh, information is very clear and uh, like i said you don't have to actually wait uh, uh, to go into the visa on arrival counter and then fill the form there if you fill this form from india itself your visa uh, on arrival would be very very smooth and you can directly join the line instead of uh, filling the uh, form in the line and there will be huge queues uh, to fill the visa on arrival application form so I, I hope this information is very very helpful and uh, please do uh, watch my videos uh, for for more information and if you haven't seen my Thailand playlist do check them out if you have any questions on this application form or any rules you want to know about Thailand do ping your Instagram for immediate response I'll see you guys in my next video